Well, here it is, May 1st, 2020. It's hard to believe that uh, we made these recordings back on March 3rd, 2020, here in Cresta Beat, Colorado. Uh, that's my wife, Karen, walking next to me. Amazingly enough, this was our last time up on the mountain in the 2020 uh, ski season due to the COVID-19 uh, virus. And uh, they actually closed the ski resort, I think the week after we shot this, uh, this is some, somewhere around then. Uh, people were probably getting infected with the virus at this point in time, and who knows, maybe we both had it too, right, right about now, because we both got sick after this. Um, but anyway, this was uh, the last time that we were up on the mountain, it was a beautiful day. Uh, it was pretty windy, but the sun was out, and it wasn't all that cold. Almost just on the cusp of going into the spring ski season. The snow is actually pretty good. It snowed earlier in that week. And at this point, it was kind of more like all pack powder, but still very good snow. Um, so Karen and I got to ski together a few times this season. Uh, most of the time I usually go up by myself, but uh, I think this is probably the third or fourth time that we've been on the mountain together. Uh, I really like to go up out there. It's a lot of fun. We don't ski very hard runs when we go up. We just ski blues and uh, blue and green runs just to take it pretty easy. But uh, you can see uh, the peak of Crested Butte on the right hand side in this shot, you can see the wind is just whipping off the top up there. This is interesting because where the, where the uh, Silver Queen chairlift unloads, it's not too far from this peak. But you can, and, and I don't recall it being all that windy when we're on the lift. But uh, we shared a lot of fun that day, and it was unfortunate that it was the last day of the season for us. Of course, we didn't know that at the time. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful day. Hardly anybody was on the mountain. Uh, so, uh, this is where we get off the Silver Queen. We're going to come down to uh, there's a signpost down at the first turn on this run. We're gonna stop there just for a second. I wanted to take a picture of Karen down there with my cell phone. Since it was such a beautiful day, the background there, you see Gothic Peak off in the back over there. This absolutely stunning day. And we really did have a lot, a lot of fun that day. Yeah, if you ski across the butte, I'm sure you're very familiar with that signpost right there. Yeah. We're going to head off on down to the uh, runs over by the Paradise. So, uh, there's a little cat trail here that connects down to uh, Upper Keystone. And then uh, some of the other runs down on that, that feed down into the Paradise chairlift area. But... Uh, yeah, we were just taking it easy. You can see there was hardly anybody on the mountain. It was just a really, really quiet, peaceful day. We usually like to go up on the mountain um, a little bit after 2 o'clock because we can park for free in the north parking lot at the ski resort at the base. And yeah, you, know, you can really get a lot of skiing in. Uh, they close the lifts at four, so um, usually you know, we can leave our house by about a quarter to two. We can be on the first chair by uh, maybe quarter after two, two thirty, and you can really make a lot of runs in an hour and a half. You can you can ski so much you can really really just burn yourself out in an hour and a half or two. So uh, especially when there's nobody on the hill like this, you can you can pretty much ski top to bottom, no problem. If you have that kind of uh, stamina. Just 
The snow, in my opinion, was uh, absolutely perfect out there. Um, could have found a little bit of powder earlier in the week. But, uh, like I said, we had no inkling that this was going to be our last time up on the mountain. The uh, COVID-19 virus was bought in the call of ski resorts by people that were uh, had been in Europe and Italy and traveled to Colorado and uh, they went to the various ski resorts and that's how it kind of got its uh, foothold in the, in the Colorado, especially in southwestern Colorado. Uh, they, they are absolutely certain they know that for a fact. That's how people became infected. So, anyway, uh, now we're heading off to a little green one where we're going over to see if we can find one of our, our next door neighbors, a chairlift operator on one of the uh, chairlifts on the north side of the mountain. So we decided we were going to go over and see if we could find him. So uh, we're going to do some uh, beginner runs here, some green stuff. And we're going to take the Painter Boy chairlift up cross over to Prospect and then head down to the bottom because that's where he usually works when he's, when he's working as a chairlift operator. Just a real casual day. Had a lot of fun. You can see just how blue the sky was that day. Bluebird day for sure. Amazing, just nobody around. This is usually the way it is up there during the week and, and in the afternoon. You get close to the holidays and you see the crowds pick up quite a bit naturally, just like any scare area. Uh, yeah, they were, uh, they were starting to ramp up for the spring break. Uh, which would have been starting right after this would have been the week or the following weeks because the spring breaks are staggered throughout the Colorado school systems and universities. So uh, they were getting ready for the spring break kind of throng of people, but that never happened this year. Now, now this is the painter boy lift. And in my opinion, I don't know what it is about this lift, but as you're heading uh, up on this lift, it goes kind of in a northern direction, and the sky just gets this incredibly deep blue. You really can't tell it from this shot, but it is just, it is just amazing to see it. And I, I really liked it. It's this. This isn't the best lift in the world. In fact, it goes kind of slow because it. It services a whole bunch of green lines, but um, you know, it's just absolutely stunning up there. You look off to the left in this shot, right there, you can see the Gothic Peak. So, uh, now on the Prospect run, just cruising along. This is an intermediate run, nobody on the hill. That's Karen down in front of me there. Let's see her in a blue coat, pink helmet, pink pants. She pops in there every once in a while. I'm not sure how she got so far ahead of me. She must have been skiing pretty crazy. Yeah, the back side of the mountain here, the north side, uh, absolutely beautiful back in there. Actually, when I was riding the uh, Prospect Chair back up one time with Karen, we saw a couple of black eagles um, close to the top. Absolutely beautiful birds. Huge. Yeah, so this is where our buddy works. That's him on the left there. The Prospect Lift. Oh, no. Yeah, we didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on the mountain that day. We just wanted to make a few very casual, very easy runs, and, uh, and that was the plan. In this run, we're going to go down to the base, and then we'll, we're going to ride the Paradise Lift one more time. Uh, 
come back up to the top of uh, I'm sorry, not the uh, Paradise Lift, but the Red Lady Lift. We'll, we'll take the Red Lady back up to the top, and then uh, we'll take uh, kind of a cool down run, and that'll be our last run of the day. Look at look at how beautiful that is. It's just I love when the trees, when the sun pops in and out of the trees like that, and that's exactly how it looked. It was just absolutely stunning. Uh, the direction we're going in now is kind of in a, a southwestern direction. That's Mount Cresta Butte on the left on the left side of the shot. You can see the wind blowing off of the peak up there. Yeah. So we just had a lot of fun that day. That's unfortunate. We're looking forward to going back up on the mountain a few more times together before the season actually did end. Which uh, I think the the scheduled end date this year, 2020 season, was supposed to be April 4th. So it ended a full month ahead of where they should have, at least three weeks ahead of the, of the actual scheduled date. This is probably the that's the most amount of people that we're seeing right here. These little kids right here. <laughs> and the parents. That's a group of three. <laughs> yeah. I really miss these times. Yeah, so we're just getting into the part of the season that uh, I just absolutely love to be on a mountain. Uh, in March, uh, St. Patrick's Day, you know, the spring skiing. Sometimes we get some really decent spring snowstorms. And as a matter of fact, after this time on the mountain, we did get several more uh, snowstorms. They were coming in storms of, you know, probably dumping about anywhere from eight inches to a foot of new snow at the ski resort. We didn't get that much at our house, but they were certainly getting it up, getting it up on the mountain. And it's, it's too bad. It's too bad that snow didn't get to be skied on by anybody. There she is. Phew. Uh, these little kids up there, they cracked me up. I see this little girl that's going to be getting on the lift here in front of us. <laughs> there she is up there. She's just coming. There I was. Okay, she's trying to catch up to mom and dad. Wait for me. <laughs> oh, hurry, hurry. Let's go. <laughs> We weren't in a hurry, <laughs> but they feel the pressure, so there they go. They got on just fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is it. This is our last run of the 2020 season. Right now we're on the Red Lady Express chairlift. I love it, it really in the, in the deep winter when there's a lot of snow on the aspens and, and the spruces in through here. It's just very, very beautiful. Uh, getting pretty close to the uh, unloading area. Coming up here. I'm not exactly sure what Karen was saying there, but she was saying that pretty intently, so must have been important. I think somebody cut her off or something when once she got off the lift. Her last run of the season. 
That's Gothic Peak again on the back. I'm going to have to check. I think our snowfall in 2019-2020 was pretty average. It wasn't anywhere near the amount of snow that we had in 2018-2019. That was a record season last year. But I'm thinking it may be a round average or just a, a little bit less than average. Uh, as a matter of fact, being that it's May 1st today, uh, the runoff is really starting to go now, so it, it's been very warm up here the last few days. I just couldn't get excited about making this video because of everything that happened after this particular date. Both Karen and I got sick, and uh, you know, I just was not excited about doing anything with that, especially uh, making recordings or, or any of that. I, so, but I did want to share this footage because it's, it was such an incredible ski day. So sunny and blue skies, just one of those days that really stands out in your memory. But anyway, I would like to thank you very much if you've uh, enjoyed watching my video and you've gotten this far. Uh, thank you for, for joining us and if you would like to give me a thumbs up down on the bottom right hand side of your screen or a like in Facebook, that would be awesome. And so we will see you again in the 2020-2021 ski season. Thanks, y'all. Have a very, very good day. We'll talk to you later on. Bye-bye.